As a Dataflow owner, you may want to share your data flow with other users or application roles within your company for collaboration. These individuals will be able to see what schedules are currently configured to run the data flow to prevent any unnecessary schedules from being created. They'll also be able to create schedules of their own. In this video, I will be showing the scheduling experience for a shared data flow. I'm navigating to the top right corner and clicking on profile to show you that I'm logged in as DB author user. As DB author user, I've created a data flow called data flow demo. I'm opening the action menu and clicking new schedule to open the inspect panel directly to the schedules tab. I'll select new at the bottom right hand corner and it'll bring up this window titled schedule where I'm entering a new name for my schedule. I'm naming the schedule DV author user dash schedule so that I can keep track of which user created the schedule and I'm specifying a start date and a start time for my schedule. In this case, I'm doing 3.30 p.m. and you can select an option for how often you'd like the schedule to repeat. I'm clicking OK and at this point I will share my data flow. So on the access tab, I'm clicking on roles and I'm searching for an application role I created called DF authors and I'm providing read write access to the users in the DF authors application role. I'm going to close and um, I'm going to sign out as DV author user and I'm going to sign in as BI tech test admin who is a member of that DF authors application role. If I scroll down, you'll be able to see that the data flow was shared with the DF authors application role. I'm going to open the inspect panel and at this point I'm going to click on the schedules tab where you can see that BI tech test admin is able to see that schedule that DV author user created. And from the schedules tab, you can select new. Um, and at this point, BI tech test admin is going to create their own schedule associated with this data flow. So again, providing a name for that schedule, configuring when I'd like it to repeat, when I'd like it to end, and after I configure that schedule, I will click OK. The capabilities that I've shown here for data flows are also available and consistent for sequences.